Total 90 Ascente is a very special ball. It matches the speed, the pace, and the attitude of what we see out there. It's a ball of choice for the three biggest leagues in the world. The first phase is always kind of going back and talking to our athletes. In the course of a couple of years of work on the ball, we'll spend hundreds and hundreds of hours with our elite level clubs and the athletes just training with them. We look for their feedback, anything that would give us an insight to how the ball is performing. One way we can reduce players' reaction time is helping them identify the ball in the peripheral vision. The way we do that is really focus on something we call flicker, which is how the eye responds to the graphic. We do that through working with vision scientists to identify how thick the graphic is, the proportion of black to white, how fast the ball moves until it blurs out. We really want to eliminate that. We want them to know that when they strike the ball, the ball's going to go where they want it. Our advanced innovation team has found a unique way of looking at this ball. We've innovated a way to actually have each of the panels have an equal amount of pressure. That creates a consistency, what we would call a 360 degree sweet spot. Hitting that ball and having it consistent is critical. It really can only be tested by the players. So the feedback we've gotten is best ball they've ever played. For the Total 90 Asante, we're going to use a brand new textured casing. We have a team of engineers that tested around 20 different materials. The casings were also tested in the wind tunnel. It shoots a ton of wind at the ball. The engineers can measure the turbulence that's created off of that. The goal of the aerodynamic texture is to really reduce drag when the ball's in the air, and that means truer shots and truer passes.